Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Let's play some more Caves of Cud. Let's show up. There we go. Okay. We'll continue with Hashur the second. Our tinker. Okay. Um, let's see. So what have we done? We had... Hmm... We had gone through the red caves. Our red rock caves. And we'd gone through uh, one of the rust wells. I haven't gone through the other rust wells. I've only ever gone through one at a time. Or one of them. Doesn't seem much point to go through the other two. Other than, I, I guess, to find more loot. Because I assumed they would all be around the same level. Mm. There's a few areas I'd like to have a look at uh, around the map here. We've been to this village here, Mercid. There's a conclave for flowers, and they're clans shrouded in boats of fireflies. There's also a uh, Snapjaw King who moved in there. Uh, I think I want to have a look at this circle village Ursinip here if I haven't been there. There's also this Snapjaw Fort which I think I would be able to deal with now. If there's shotgunners that could be a bit of a problem. But uh if there's other things we should be able to deal with that. So let's head over here and then we can make our way north from there. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. No. Hmm. It said Circle Village, so I'm guessing there should be a village around here, but uh... Oh, hang on. Yes. So... I go down. Right, I pressed A, or B now, rather, for center, which... And a reminder, each of these squares on the map is a 3x3 three three square, so the center, I assume, will take you to the center square of that 3x3. Three three. But, uh, I thought the village would be in the center square, but it's not. It's in the western square, apparently. Actually, you know what? Uh, we'll just go west then, and we'll be able to get to the village. Uh, over here. There we go. <laughs> Oops. Oh, we have been here slightly. Oh, yes. That's where that room full of the uh, centipedes was. We might be able to deal with those now. Okay. What have we got here? Ooh, a lacquered iron battle axe. Uh, sure, I'll take that. Leather moccasins. Don't want those. Dudded leather armor. Iron longsword. No. No worm skull. Those are pretty good, I think. Plus one ego. Yeah, I'll take that. Find a burnt capacitor. Uh, are you a friendly? You are. Okay. What's up here? Hmm. Something shot me. A cro a bowman, I guess. Who's now having to deal with yeah the uh, dragonflies. There we go. Do you have anything? Nope. Right, we'll search that. Nothing in there. Nothing there. I don't want to deal with you. Hello again. Okay. Ooh, hello. There's a grenade in there. 
Mm, quilted shawl, don't want. Uh, I don't want any of that stuff. Okay, well. Hey, it's a thermal grenade. I'll take that. Yeah, here's where all the centipedes were. Blah. Coming out of this room down here. Oh! Their nest has been destroyed. Well, fine by me. I don't have to deal with it now. Man, people have been busy while I've been away. It's nice to see that the world has got, like, others who are walking around doing things. I'll take that. Or I'll take this stud rod. Masterwork amber tipped star. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll sell for a bit. Eh. Uh. Oh, hello. <coughs> Buru Fu Bo Wo Fab. The fearsome Snapjaw Skull Splitter. Loved by Snapjaws. Admired by Vines for saving one of their youngs from drowning. Hmm. Hated by cats for burning one of their legions in effigy. Okay. Uh, hmm. Time dilation. Ow. Zap. How badly injured are you from that? Wounded. Okay. Whoop. Okay. I don't want to be standing in the hallway here. I really like that ripple effect I've got there. Oh no, reputation with snap jaws decreased by 195 to minus 670. I'm now despised by snap jaws. My reputation with vines decreased. Oh well. My reputation with cats increased to minus 115. Cats are now indifferent to me. Okay. What did you have on you? A shotgun shell. A weird artifact. Another steel battle axe. I'll take that. And a hand axe. What about here? Uh, nothing. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. What's this weird artifact? Compass bracelet. Yeah, okay, I'll wear that. Um. All oh, right, one of my chem cells is rusted. Uh, I can't repair that. There's enemies nearby, apparently. Oh, there they are. Get out of here. Okay. Bent metal sheet. There's an armor rack. A crimson hood. What's this? Okay, it's just a hood. I don't need any of that. Hmm. Ooh, there's a bookshelf there. Oh boy, it's behind two of these uh, glow pads. Are they enemies? No, they're actually friendly. Okay. I'll just uh, squeeze past you. Cry-steel, bound by wrapped wire. Or chris steel? Press alt for some time. In the scene here, the father's first approach, her radiance. Matter is made of some forest animal. O oh, sovereign fathers, I tremble before your glory. Rhodos eventually reached Perth, but the engineering fate exceeded, exceeds even our capacity. 
that which distinguishes the atom from the coast of fuming god sea on the far side of Mograyi, and that her beauty was such that it was fired in the colder centuries. Giant ice sheathed worms coursed their way up his arms. Several of those of his chamber, as he thinks water is, especially outside smoky towns, but both have varied qualities in different parts. On the other fire ants, and on her back she bears a pair of leather boots, onto which several carbide bands have been riveted. At the sound of each day they begin anew, and they will protect it at all costs. Fascinating. Ancient knowledge which we can't understand. Uh, no other bookshelves around here, is there? Doesn't look like it. And I don't think air, I don't know whether areas repopulate uh, bookshelves which were empty <laughs> previous. It doesn't look like it. Those ones are both empty still. So I think they would just stay looted. Uh, is there anywhere which I haven't explored? I just... Ooh, I find a burnt capacitor. Ooh, hang on. Go back and pick that up. Anything in here? No. Okay. You can continue on. I slip on the oil. Good job. Yeah, there's actually some rubbish around here which hasn't been rifled through. Go through there, go through there, and go through there. What the heck's going on there? Oh, they're just fighting a, uh... Ooh. Yoink. He's fighting one of those glow pads. Actually... Uh, perchance did you die? No, oh, I don't want the glowfish corpse. Can I actually, like, cook with that? And there's a young ivory right there. I kind of wish those enemies took precedent over corpses and such on that square. Well, I guess their thing is that they lay in wait. I don't think it matters as long as you see them. I think young ivories are only deadly if you, uh... I'm going to turn the music down a bit. Uh, if you... Uh, if you don't know where it is and you step on the square and then it will hurt you but once you know where it is it can't hurt you pardon me having some tea yep I want to go to the world map and we'll go to the snap jaw or here that's in the southwest okay we'll go to the center oh hello you are a friendly uh, gecko or something, aren't you? Salamander. Oh, and there's a boar. Two boars. Uh. No, I don't want to take. Oh, that, yeah, that, that turtle was hostile to me. Tortoise. Okay. <clears throat> Let's have a look around here. There can be things located around just in these fields. Not much, but I think there could be like... Oh, hello. Uh, there could be, like, weeps. <laughs> Irritable tortoise corpse. Uh, which can be potentially valuable. 
since they can produce uh, I think weeps can produce any type of uh, liquid in the game including uh, things like salt so you find one which can produce fresh water Or, I guess there's also, like, gel which they could produce, which I think is really useful for making, uh, various, uh, injectors. Okay. Oh, hello, piggy. Oh, this is... Hang on. I was like, where is the Snapjaw Fort? But this is the southeast. I needed to go to the southwest. Do -ba -do -ba -do. There it is. Okay. And there's a lot of piles of rubbish around here too, so... We'll be able to search through all those. You can see where we appeared last time. Let's see. Sandal of the Sandals of the River Wives. What are these good for? Plus five move speed. Oh, I'd actually take those. More movement speed is pretty good. I have a lot of quickness, but I, my movement speed is still 100. Um. Yeah, so one would be like walking around speed and the other one would be... Uh, how fast I can react in combat. Burnt capacitor. <laughs> Nothing there. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's an enemy on screen, so I can't rifle through it anymore. Hey, but bent metal sheet. I like all these uh, other people, other dudes dealing with these enemies for me. Oh, there's a... There's a sp spitting uh, vine up there which is stopping me from searching through the rubbish. Get out of here, you. Okay, did you drop anything? Chainmail, steel, warhammer. Leather moccasins. Dog corpse. Okay, there was nothing in there. I wish these trees didn't look so much like rubbish piles uh, when they're under the fog. You can't see the trunks. Another Norworm skull. Sure, I'll take that. <sighs> Ooh, a beaded bracelet. I'll take you. Weird artifact, hey. Yoink. Ow! Who shot me? Ow! Don't do that. No, no. Wow. <laughs> the snap your scavenger cleaves through the Equimax's armor. 
What does the Equimax have to say about that? Yeah, I thought so. Oh, interesting. I don't think... Oh, no. Okay, so my time dilation field is affecting it as well, because it's... even though it's friendly. I'll take this. I'll take this weird artifact. What's here? Copper, nu copper nugget. No, I don't want the... Drop that. Yes, let's clean the corpse. Flaming bronze dagger. I'll take that. Drop that. I guess I can't butcher that. I guess just drop the glowfish corpse. What's this? Iron longsword, iron dagger. Bronze axe, bronze battle axe, master work shop bow, and snapjaw corpse. Okay. Uh, before we go downstairs, I want to have a look around inside of the fort. Oh, hello. Bark armor, bronze mace. Hmm. Oh, that's an arrow slit. Okay. So where's the front door? How do you even get in here? Do I have to go down the stairs? Maybe I have to go down the stairs. Ow. Oi. Stop that, you. Uh oh. Ow. Okay, a lead slug critically hits you times three for the southeast for eight damage. Uh, right, that's a turret. I don't want to deal with that. That's bad news. Good thing I was only one square away so I could duck back into cover. But I really should have just stood there. But I don't think I could see it. That's a problem. That can really hurt. Luckily, I flinched away. And I think I've got that ability, which means that when I do that, my DV goes up. I don't want to poke my head around that corner there. Um, I don't have the... Uh... Flaming Iron Vine Reaper. Okay, no cell in it. Gaslight Chris. What? This wood-gripped hilt emits a thin, terse, undulous beam of pale green light whose intensity is such that it may cut away steel. Oh, interesting. Okay. It's got a cell in it. A chem cell. Uh, yeah, let's remove the uh, chem cell. And... Hmm... Yeah, we'll repair that. There we go. I'm going to... I'll hold on to that for the moment. I have a spring turret grenade, which I can throw around the corner to potentially shoot the turret. With uh, one of my own. But I think my turret was its little pistol. wouldn't be enough. Let's see. Yeah, let's put a uh, torch in our hand. Does that help see things? It's not shooting at me. Can I throw a torch? Hmm. Oh, that's a freeze grenade. Yeah, I don't really want to I don't think that would be useful. Remove. I don't have an EMP grenade. So it's a rifle turret. Let's see. In the one turn it shot at me. It shot. Hmm. 
Hmm. You flinch away as a lead slug whizzes past from the east. A lead slug critically hits you times three from the southeast for eight damage. I don't know what it means by times three. Oh, I guess that means that, like, critical hit times three for, um, for times three damage. So that would be... If it hit for eight... That would have been... I guess three rounded up? Or three rounded down? Or... No, hang on. 2.5? Yeah, maybe. But I don't think it can deal in point... In percentages of damage. 2, 4, 6... Hmm. 3, 6, 9... No, hmm. I don't know. Maybe my armor took a bit of the damage away. Uh, so it shot three times, basically. Um, and one of them... Or four times? I think it shot four times, because I flinched away as one of them whizzes past. And then I got hit by one, and then two others... Uh, whizz past. That's still... Ah. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going that way. I am ignoring that. Let's go back upstairs. I don't need to go through there. I can just, uh... Dig through this, uh... Wall here. Oh, I'm famished. There's hostiles nearby. Okay, we'll go down the square. And we'll uh, whip up a meal. Bear jerky, star apple jam, and yeah, some worm jerky. Let's see. Inspiration guide us to a mouth-watering meal. Uh, whenever you use a salve of, or uber nostrum injectum, you get plus 30-40% max HP for one hour. Whenever you drop below 20% HP, you stop bleeding. 10-15% uh, max HP. 8 to 12 to s plus 8 to 12 to save versus bleeding. Hmm. I mean, using a salve or ubernostrum injector and getting, like, nearly 50% extra HP after using it sounds... useful? Though I don't know whether it would give me that HP and heal me for that extra, or whether it's just increasing my max. And I have to still heal up to that. Hmm. Because I think usually in games, it's if your HP is max, and then you get an HP increase, it will increase your max, um, your current and your max HP up to the new max. But if you're taking damage, your current HP will stay at, say, 40, and your new HP, your max HP will go up to, like, 60. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna get this last one. Stripped sweet me stripped sweet meat bread. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Let's hack our way through here. I have an axe. It should have a bonus against wood. <laughs> there we go. Oh, I also got that torch in my hand. Uh, remove. Hello? Anyone around here? This is where I find the front door. It's around somewhere. Like up here. They didn't even have any equipment. Mark armor and the staff. Snapjaw corpse. Snapjaw. 
Hmm. What about in here? Oh, nothing. Okay. Can I go this way? I can, but there was no exit there. Okay, so there really was no way to get in there other than just digging through the wall. That's weird. Unless there's a door somewhere which I'm not seeing, but all those little gaps seem to be uh, arrow slits. I guess this was the entrance. But it was spawned in a wall, so... Oh well. Okay, well, that's that done. Um... How am I going on water? Okay, that's fine. Let's go back to the world map. Hello, welcome, welcome, Sagnif. Hope you're doing well. Let's see. If we go here. Yeah. Let's have a look at that place. Since I think we read about this place uh, from a book. The historical site of Alai Limu neighborhood. We get 250 experience for completing that quest. I like that you get a quest to, ex to visit that place once you've read about it. Ooh, different music. Get rid of you. Now, I don't know how tough this place is going to be, so we're going to have to be careful. There's a lot of salamanders. And glow crows. And another boar. Ooh, a ch chess. I guess the glow crows. Hang on. I heard something called a cult of Yahim, but I didn't see anything near the nearby that ball. Hmm. Another cult of Yahim dies. Oh! Your slugs snout. Right. I was like, is that one of those, uh. There we go. I was like, is there one of those seed spitting plants nearby? But no. The red boars are slug snouts. Ugh. Well, at least I get some boar meat. Man, there's a lot of balls. Oh. It's a hostile glow crow. Help me. No, you're not going to. Glow crow. A member of the cult of Yahim again. Well, I guess some of these are like members of a cult which is here? Hmm. Find way for. No. 
What's this door here? Nothing. Okay. You don't have anything. Uh, what are you? A bizarre contraption. A puzzling artifact. Yeah, I don't... Kind of looks like a turret, but I think it would have shot me if that was the case. Look. Examine. Broadcast power station. Metal was braided into electromagnetic scaffolding, and through it the modular molds the clay of the baseband and divulges the shape of the new signal. Hmm, okay. It's just like a radio antenna or something. Uh, there's some strange tubes on the ground here. They're just, yeah, power lines. Copper, al alu copper aluminium, and glass fiber were rounded into electrical conduit. Okay. Oh, hello. <laughs> tap tap. What's in this? Oh, I don't think I had a look at that chest down there. Thermal grenade. And another copper nugget. Go have a look in that chest. Okay, apparently I did. Oh, hey, he had another copper nugget. Money, money. Um, why are some of these glow crows gone hostile? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe they're always hostile. But they just... They're not very aggressive. That's a lot of glow crows. Another bizarre contraption and a metal folding chair. What's this thing? I make some progress in understanding the bizarre contraption. Deactivated Kish Sun Gate. I needed to examine it twice. Water ribbons climb bone blanched marble columns in high relief. They the they mount the archivolt and snake between helical ring. And snake between helical rings before a sharp turn upward on the keystone. Here becomes there. As powered off, contains wiring enabling it to function as part of a power grid consuming electrical charge. Yeah, okay. So it's a portal gate? Hmm, interesting. But there's a lot of broken cables there. I don't think I can make those. English is hard. <laughs> Especially when it's written like in this game. It's a fun exercise, but it's uh, easy to get tripped up on it. Ugh. English is a pain sometimes. Certain words preceding others, and it's just like... <laughs> These sounds after each other, they're very difficult because they're very different. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh boy. Two headed slug snout. 
Yeah, I don't want to deal with you. Okay, so. We've done that. We're injured. I am going to... Eat some witchwood bark. And we are going to sprint. Okay. We're out of its line of sight, primarily. I'm still wounded. I'm going to have to have another... Uh... That thing. Ow. As if slug snouts weren't bad enough. We get a two-headed variant. Hmm. How heavy is this? That's zero. Okay, I could just sell that at a later point. Um. What's an Uber Nostrum injector do? I also have three salve injectors, so. But it's not instant healing. Uh. Yeah, heals me a lot, and I. Regrow one severed appendage if I'm missing any. But I have my self injectors, which I think are better than that. Or th th okay, we'll just uh, hang out over here for the moment. Okay. Time dilation is back available. Oh, hello. Well, you're a two-headed boy. You're not the uh, two-headed slug snout. Wait to get my charge back up. Oh. It's like these glow crows are actually like getting converted over time. Like something is mind controlling them. Oh, am I still sprinting? No. Okay. Hello. There you are. No. Hey. Whoop! Um. Hmm. Let's see. So, you are not right next to me, so you're not slowed down as much as I, as you could be. You have two heads, so I probably can't kill you in one shot. You will shoot me twice. That will hurt a lot. If I move down one square, you'll 
possibly move. I might be able to throw a grenade to the north. Or I could dash back into cover to the southeast of me. Because I'm going to have to kill it with my discharge. I'm not going to be able to kill it by, like, smacking it with my axe. I'm not good enough at melee for that. It will take too long, and it will just be able to shoot me again. Um, I could throw, try and throw, like, a freeze grenade. But I'd want to get a bit more distance between me and it first. Before I try and ready that. I'm going to run down one. Okay. Then... Throw, weapon, freeze grenade. Going to throw it here. Okay. Did that get you? No. Okay. <laughs> I waited for two turns, uh, thinking that it would, hoping that it would have moved down one square. It did, so when I came around the corner, it got closer to me and it slowed down even more. So I was able to zap it, and I was actually able to kill it in one shot with a fully charged zap, so. Yeah. I missed with my freeze grenade, though, because it moved down one, I think. I don't really know how big the blast radius is on a grenade. I guess a 3x3. Three three. Oh, well, we get more meat out of it. Yay. And also, because I didn't want to move away any further, because uh, my time dilation would have worn off if I'd run around a bit too much more. Okay. Oh, it sprints off on cooldown. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. My time dilation is... uh. Worn off now. That's a nasty enemy. Ow. Maybe stop bleeding. Can I like deconstruct these. Ooh, this is a graffitied one. Uh, and when it's waxed and ready, I'll have a velocity of their priests. Okay. I don't think I can disassemble those. I keep thinking these are metal walls, but they're actually marble. They look like metal to me. Can I activate this? I press the power button. A loud buzz is emitted. The unauthorized glyph flashes on the display. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I guess maybe the power cables are connected. But I don't have authorization to activate that. I'm sorry, what? Broken power line. <laughs> hmm. It's like sparking electricity around? I want to have a look at this thing. The fusion power station. Oh, that's nice to just have lying around here. Bits of tiny matter are smashed together behind the loon of a chrome cylinder, and the heat is used to pump electricity down grid. I can deactivate it. No. No, I can't deactivate it. I don't have authority to. Okay. Oh, I guess I'll just leave that thingy alone. 
Let's go down here and get shot by turrets. Hmm. Not yet. Hey, a ball. And a glow crawl. <laughs> oh boy! Two two headed balls. And another ball. Five heads. Six heads. Nope. They can't go upstairs. Why'd that start making that noise now? Is it because I pressed the button on the device before? Oh. <laughs> Hello. Two headed ball. Here we go. Eh. Thanks for your assist, Glow Crows. Ooh! Uh, right, there's a slug snout there. Yeah, hello. Eesh! You just have one head. I should get some shotgun shells <laughs> from a slug snout. Though I guess they're firing like bullets of bone or something. I feel a sense of holiness here. Yeah, and bulls. Or pigs. Just endless pigs. I'm famished now. Really? Uh, no, let's preserve fresh foods. There we go. I, I, I didn't want to... Fine, whatever. I wanted to make a meal, but I just made a quick whatever meal. Ow! Stupid boars, get out of the way. <laughs> I killed one boar, another takes his place. Can I go down now? I can. There's a boar in the way. There we go. What about now? Glow crow corpse. Are you hostile? You are, actually. <coughs> There's a whole bunch of... It's like a huge garden down here. There's nothing in that. Ah, uh, no. They only give me two experience, so it's not really worth me killing them. But they can cause bleeding, so I think I prefer to get rid of the glow crows. Just in case they uh, decide to scratch me. Oh, great. Another slug snout. Ow. Hit me three times. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just going to run away. And we'll rest here for a moment. 
I see the Velocity Raptor, now see the Velocity Priest. <laughs> you laugh. Someone showed me a poster of a movie they saw called the Velocity Pastor. Concept sound neat, but uh, I saw some screenshots of the movie and it was not that impressive. It was like they had borrowed a uh, a very cheaply made dinosaur costume. It didn't even look like a Velociraptor. Yeah, some horribly like, I don't know. <laughs> I'd say be great movie, but from the screenshots, it's basically just people like standing in a backyard who had filmed it on a camera they had. But yeah, Velocity Pastor. <laughs> Something about him being a were-pastor and uh, a, were, a were-velociraptor and he fights ninjas or something like that. A cool concept, but uh, the movie was uh, apparently not very good. Had a pretty neat poster for it, though. Hold on, let me see if I can find it. Uh, yeah, here we go. As I said, I think I think they spent all of their uh, effort on making the uh, on making the poster rather than the movie itself, from what I saw. Okay, let me just get this. Uh, there we go. Sometimes move. Sometimes bad movies can be uh entertaining. Still, I I don't think this one was. I haven't seen it, but from what someone was telling me. So wow, that is big. Might be just made up of stock images. I don't know. I haven't looked into it. Damn it. Hold on. There we go. As I said, it's a kind of it's a kind of a neat poster. It at least conveys, you know, <laughs> they know what the important parts of the film are. But uh, let me see. Uh, yeah. So. Here's, here's an image apparently from the movie itself and uh yeah yeah <laughs> what you expect what you get <clears throat> so as i said it looks like they borrowed a costume and filmed it in their backyard so Oh well, we couldn't afford the graphics. Only Photoshop. <laughs> Where's the burning villages? Oh, you weren't allowed to. Anyway. Oh, I haven't noticed it before, but the, uh, on the poster, the Velociraptor has actually got the, uh, like the pastor's clothes on around his neck. <laughs> it's just popping out of the, popping out of the shirt. <laughs> uh, Oh boy. Anyway. Yeah, I just wish that you know, uh, someone with a bigger budget would uh, come up with it. <laughs> it sounds just for a neat idea. It's like, yeah, sure, but uh, hmm. where are you? Oop, hang on, there's that slug snout. Oop, can't run. Okay. Heh! <laughs> Okay, let's hide around this corner. Hope you follow me. There we go. It was trying to shoot me through the wall. That's just not good.
Okay, we'll pick up that both Four meat. Um Ow. Yeah, I've kind of backed myself into a corner here. Ow! Right, sprint. Uh Gonna use an injector. Okay. Go here. Go there. Mental mirror. Ow. Get out of here. Oi. There's a bookshelf. Bountiful in Chrome. Introducing several changes to the nameless gods. Accordingly, note that the condensation takes place in various ways, and in the sky was cloudless, the sun and planets for the boy lied, that he studied the penumbra calculus and its ears twitch. In my haste to reach the nearest fixed star, about three and a hacksaw, she's a beauty. Righto. More books. Valuable books. Oh, hello. Zap. Oh, hello. There's some jugs down here. What's in these? I can't close the iron gate. I don't want to. I want to have a look at this, uh, clay pitcher. One dram of wine. Yeah. Okay, I guess I'll take the clay pitcher. What's in this glass bottle? Two drams of oil. I'll take that as well. Yeah. Uh, let's put this clay pitcher... ...pour... ...into... ...the water skin. And we'll drop it. And this glass bottle, I will pour into another water skin. Uh, this one. And we'll drop the glass bottle. There we go. Got some oil and some more wine. What's this? Just fences. Ow. I guess I don't really need to zap them. They don't have that much health. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Let's see. A vessel of exquisitely blown glass. The style hints that it originates from the coast of Fuming God Sea on the far side of Mogriyi, and that it was likely exported by the Dromads. I wonder whether this game will end up expanding its uh, map to include more areas. Poor... Into here, we get some more wine. I like that you can actually see that it had some wine in there. Oh. Yeah, okay, that was a hole. I shouldn't have just dropped down that. I was like, oh, what's this thing? And I fell down a hole. That's dumb, that's dumb. Where was the stairs? I think they were to the north and west of me. There we go. This is why you always go downstairs when you see them, in case something like that happens. 
This net hack taught me nothing. I had been doing that, but then I stopped doing it in case of cud because I hadn't come across any pits. It's not like there's pit traps. There's just pits, which I'll step on because I don't know what they are. Now I know there's pits, I'll uh, try and make more of an effort to go downstairs when I see them. Oh, hello, another bookshelf. Due north, we find... The signal affirms that an entity roosts atop the snowy peaks, but what rema remained of man did not emerge for thousands of years. The first humanoid to successfully unite the farmsteads of Western Cud was reunited as one. Clank! Children, let's rejoice in the flaking shells of dead king crabs. The companionship is welcome, way older than I am, nestling. And light may travel. Convinced that their discoveries was made possible by some persons to be about 150 millionth of an astral continuum, continuum, whereas Utut was known in the box, so as to enable one to notice that the Pale Sea was it a mere wrinkle in the air, which displaced the contaminated lower air. This depends upon the clouds, their beauteous robes of heaven. I like that description of clouds, that's quite nice. Let's just take that. Uh, that's some more wine. So we'll pour that into our water skin. And pour this into our water skin. There we go. Oh, you picking a fight with me, Glowcrow? metal sheet. Uh. Okay. Oh, hello. Hang on. Actually, <laughs> I'm just walking through this. There's actually drams of fresh water here. Uh. Yeah. Pour it into a water skin. <laughs> That's just money I'm walking through. Yoink. I'm surprised I could just like pick that up. It's like there's no problem that it's on the floor. It's still fresh water. That was quite a fair bit. Was there any others? Any other water around here? I was just walking around through the water going, oh, it's just like salty water, but no, that was actually quite valuable. There's another. Okay, nothing there. And nothing there. What about up here? Nothing. Okay. Uh, oh, there's a two-headed boar on the stairs again. I, I don't want to fight you on the stairs. But you're not coming up the stairs. Do I have to stand next to it for you to be able to see me? Yeah, I can't hit you because you're downstairs. It's like. I mean, you're not hitting me. Wait. Hang on. Oh no, I have my steel battle axe. I saw that I'm hitting it with my fists. I'm like, don't I have a weapon? I do have a weapon. There we go. <laughs> I'm just like wailing on things with my axe and my fists. What's in here? 
Ooh, cider. I think that had, that said it adds quickness, so I'll take that. Yep. What's this thing? 489 drowns of asphalt. <laughs> Yay. Wait, what? Oh. No, I hit him. But it wasn't enough to kill him. What's this? 161 drams of fresh water. I'm not going to have enough. Uh... I'm not going to have enough containers for all this. I didn't really want to clean my stuff off in it, but I don't have any more um, containers for all this uh, fresh water. Hmm. What's in here? Honey! I'll pick up the vase, actually. Oh, hang on. I can't pick up the vase? Uh... No, I can't. Hmm. I would like that honey. I'm gonna drop this, uh, oil. Pour... Nearby. Yep, just pour the oil out. And, uh... Pour... This honey... Into my water skin. There we go. I'm carrying too much to move. Okay, drop that. Drop that. Uh, drop the lacquered iron battle axe. I don't need that. I think I started the game with that, but yeah. What's this say? Uh, your willpower score determines how effectively you penetrate your target's armor. <laughs> okay. Uh, people should do that. They should just, like, write, like, tutorial tips on walls as graffiti. <laughs> oh, hello, Norworm. <laughs> like, remember to save your game frequently. <laughs> Or tip, press shift to run. <laughs> I'm sure that one's been done. Yeah, pour this honey into there. Get the raw worm meat. There's a lot of nice valuable liquids around here. Why do I go red here? Hmm. I guess it's the fire? What's the temperature down here anyway? 28 degrees. Ooh. So it is kind of hot, kind of warm down here. That's not unbearable, but... Hello. Normality gas miner. Uh, right. I forget what normality gas does. I think it affects psychic abilities and stops them from working or something. Have you gone? Good. Anything in here? No. <laughs> Hello. Oh, stairs down. Slug snouts. 
not super cool. There. <laughs> I just like them a uh, fight each with each other. Ow. Bridge still on cooldown. Whoop. Okay. What was that stuff there? Oh, these slug snouts. Oh, I'm overburdened. Too much food. There we go. That lightened the load a little. Ah! Ah! Another frickin' slug snout. Ah, crap. Thank you for dying in one shot. Thank you for missing me all those times. Uh. Um. <laughs> Use another self injector. Sprint. Time dilation is still on cooldown. Ow. Oh. Eek. Okay. I, I'm leaving. At least to go upstairs for a little bit. <laughs> So I can rest up. Uh, no, I want to. Yep. Okay, let's see. Uh, preserve my foods. Uh, boar jerky, crab jerky, and vine wafer sheath. Actually, no, let's use a, uh, drama cider. Hey, plus four quickness, fourteen percent max health. Okay, have I got up a level? I uh, don't think so. No, I haven't got any mutation points. Okay, we'll just wait around until my HP goes back up. To max. There we go. Now, are you going to have followed me? Oh, hello. Nope. I don't care for you, robot. Oh, maybe you dealt with it? 
Yeah, cracked lens. Burnt capacitor. More bores. Even more bores. Holy So many bores. There must be a nest around here. Ooh, you've actually got a neat weapon. I think that's electro bow or something, isn't it? Well, I can't actually tell because uh, I haven't looked at it myself, but yeah. I wouldn't mind one of those. Good, good. Exploring down here is paying, paying off. Okay. What are these walls? Oh, this one actually has graffiti on it. The farmer in the fridge and spray on my lips. Though the more skill points you earn. Tarnished chrome, right. So these are the future metal walls. Nope. Robot, leave me alone. Well, I guess I could kill you. Fractured microchip. I guess robots are a bit more resistant to uh, uh, a bit weaker to electricity than most other things. Uh, did I have... Yeah, I've got two folding chairs. No, they don't weigh too much, but I'll just assemble them. Disassemble them anyway. There you go. It's not like last time where I found what I thought was a folding chair, but it was... Actually, a uh, ro uh, minigun. What just happened? Normality gas. Gas modules molecules arrange along the ley lines of this plane to form an area airy form mesh. Objects on orthogonal trajectories are netted and shunted back toward their planet homes. Astrally burdened. Hmm. Okay, we'll just uh run out of that I don't get what that did <coughs> hmm do I look that up part of me wants to just like learn it myself but I've been hit by it <coughs> hmm. let's have a look part of the bit of coughing I had some chips Fish and chips, and one of the chips grazed my throat. <laughs> I have to chew my food a bit more. Let's see. Normality gas neutralizes many psychic effects. Oh, okay, that's what I thought. As well as the abilities of creatures with astral powers, such as blah blah blah. Uh, okay, okay. So yeah, it is what I thought. It affects. Uh, <clears throat> psychic abilities. Okay. So that would affect my time dilation, I think. If I had had it running. Honey! Just pour it into there. Five drams of it. Nothing there. Crocusons, woven tunic, studded leather armor, iron longsword. Bleh. Don't want any of that. Could I find another folded carbide? Uh... Dagger or something? There's another normality gas. It doesn't actually put my psychic abilities on. 
I, I even saw that. I could have picked it up. What's this? Putrescence. Okay. Ick. Suddenly, perhaps. It was founded in 114 PP by the friction and viscosity of the path along which I hadn't fathomed. Once the spines are chipped away, the inner flesh is moist and delicious. If there were no fires and no inhabitants, in the scene here, the fathers first approach her radiance. Rydberg molecules are too unruly. Familiar to all, and the dark mass of quivering gelatinous. Volume 4. I want to read that one. What's that sound? There, theirs are the benefits of cybernetics? What are the shoulders of titans? Theirs are the risks of cybernetics? How do I install a cybernetic implant? Goodbye. Hmm? Uri the jeweler kept in separate bottles and again made the, to return to Joppa with the mold of a large sprinting bird. She will encode her instructions for the diminution diminution of dust particles by the babbling brook out of several hundred feet, but they are in a sconce. I will ravage your nubile heart. Gra! There is but her eternal breath. Enter and speak to anyone from here to decrypt the signal, but she needs the computing power of the desert have taken it upon myself sovereignty over the Ashlayan mountain range it may be is not atomic instructor hmm. I think the first three versions were better <laughs> started to lose the plot a bit later on journey into the bloodstream it sounds like a uh, magic school bus episode or something hello welcome welcome Lothar hope you're doing well Can I trade with you? What do you got? Ah, arrows and a bow. Kinds of matter, we. Is there anything in there? No. Okay, let's go back down here. What's this? Brackish water. Ooh, a chest. There's nothing in the chest. Oh. Boo. Lame. What about over here? Oh, hang on. What's in this room? Oh, boar meat. Right. I don't think I need more boar meat. You doing good? Good to hear. Surviving the caves? Yeah. Just. Sometimes it feels like. Good graffiti. Um, a lot of slug snouts, which are nasty balls, which have bait. They feel like they have shotguns for uh, noses. I think it's more like a rifle, but it hurts. And there was even a two-headed one. <laughs> Ooh, drab of honey. But we're finding a lot of uh, nice liquids. Ooh, hello. Cider, cider, and empty. This one's actually painted. I should have been checking the others. Uh, in 6095 BR, Jashid, the sorrow of Dumrimish, leaf skipper, died of natural causes. She was 75 years old. Okay. Uh, pour the cider into there. Pour the cider into there. And that one was empty. Yeah, I kind of wish I had my burrowing claws. I might be able to find some rooms uh, blocked off from others. Hmm. Hello. Okay, yeah. You're just a friendly dude. Oh, do you have anything to trade? No, Scrap Hermit doesn't have anything. Ooh, bent metal sheet. Does this have anything on it? No. Ooh, hey, a weird artifact. Examine. Normality gas mine, Mark 1. 
Anarchy is wound into stasis by Tyne's virtual antipode and packaged into a metal disc. Only the instruction of movement will direct it to Anacrete. Okay, can we disarm it? Failing to disarm the normality gas mine, one Mark one will detonate it. You estimate you have about a ninety-five percent chance of success. Yeah, sure. Boop. And we disarm it. I want to have a look at that word. What's that? What's that word? Uh. Okay, unaccreted. That which is not accrete. Simple past terms of accrete. Yeah. Uh, uh, to grow together, combine, diffuse. Oh, okay. So, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. To unaccrete would be to uh, split apart. Fine. Oh, it's disabled. Right. Well, we can just pick it up now. I thought disabling it would pick it up automatically, but nope. Oh, hang on. Undercrete, accrete. Yeah, okay. It just struck me that, like, I've heard of that word before because it's used in accretion disk for black holes, which makes sense because that's where all the matter is gathering towards the singularity. Uh I hope I can be forgiven for not realizing that immediately. <laughs> uh. Ooh, what's this? Scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Kuthrashid I. In 6845 BR, Kuthrashid won a decisive victory against the combined forces of Tawan and the bloody battle of Shemrelep. Though he lost his prized marriage's beauty, pariah's gift, during the course of the conflict. I think we learned about that before. Uh, that was a gift. I think when he... Rescued a village of pariahs or something like that? As a result of the battle, Shemrelip was so rife with burnt books and corroded data disks that it was renamed Shrewd Void. I think we've heard of that place as well before. We might have actually read this before. Recover marriage's beauty, Pariah's gift. Hmm, okay. What's in this? Ooh, more cider. Pour into water skin. Nice. We've gotten quite a few good things here. Uh, I have used quite a few of my healing items, so. Two salve injectors, which is uh, more than I would want, but... It stopped me from getting shot by slug snout. Shot to death by slug snouts, so. I'll have to make it with the uh, wealth which we've accumulated to purchase some replacement stuff. These bookshelves don't have anything on them, do they? Oh, this. No, that's me. <laughs> I was like, oh, this one's painted. No, no. That, that's, that's me. Uh. Is there anything else around here? I'll just let it also explore. <coughs> oh, hang on. That's something. What's this doohickey? Gentling mask. In wallpaper and acrylic, the pain of experience is smothered, smoothed away into the aspect of a child. Neuronal clamps peek out from the concave interior surface. The mask is fastened by a brass chain, adorned by beads of glass and braided on the forehead with the holy rhombus. A sign of the price of innocence. Minus one ego. Okay, so... That's... Ooh, there's a high explosive grenade mark one there. Good thing it wasn't a uh, mine. I'll get that. And I'll get the uh, high explosive grenade as well. Oh! There's another mine. Nice that it actually stopped. Yes. Boop. Uh, get the mine. So there is a difference between mines and grenades. Uh, 
It didn't stop when that mine was revealed. I guess it was revealed when I stepped on it. Yeah. Good thing they're just normality mines. That doesn't really hurt me. Okay. Uh, before we leave, I want to poke my head downstairs. Let's see what's down here. This could be getting stupidly dangerous. The way is blocked by... Where? Hang on. I gained 2 XP. Oh, there must have been a glow crow on the stairs. Okay, so we're three strata deep. Okay, there's another glow crow. Some rubbish there. And there's asphalt and more balls. Okay. We'll head back up. Oop! Slugs down. What? Another normality gas grenade went off over there. A gas mine went off over there. Okay. Eh. I'll just uh hide over here. You can deal with it. Good. Are you injured? No, you're perfect. Get out of here. These trees are a problem. I can't see if there's another uh, slug snout around. Like right there. It's as if the game could read my mind. Oh, hey, two-headed boar. Bye. I'm half hoping that the uh, boss would be able to kill him because I'd like his bow. Ow! Stupid young ivory. Okay. Hey buddy, I have another ball for you. Th thank you! You can just kill it in uh, one shot. What's that thing? Oh, I think that's a witch. Yeah, that's a witch, witch wood wreath. Pick that up. Ow! <laughs> I hid behind a tree. I zapped the uh, slug snout, destroying the tree in the process.
Hey, buddy. Thank you. Um, you weren't there before. Rifle turret. Rusted. Um. Chat. <laughs> repair. No, I don't think I'm going to repair it. Look. It is hostile to me. Uh. I will zap you. I guess being rusted would have stopped it from working. Ooh, there's a... It's a char if it's a char rifle there. I must have got that from the turret. Neat. Okay. If there's guns down here or turrets down here, it's uh. Okay. Yeah, I'm covered in asphalt. That can't be healthy. But if there's turrets, that's kind of deadly. Okay. Glow oh, crow, get out of here. Hello, it looks like there's some more wine in a picture there. Yeah. Uh, pour this into there. There we go. How am I going for weight? Five more pounds. Ooh, a chest. What's in you? <coughs> Nothing. Okay. <laughs> I guess I can zap trees to uh, see if I can get through them. Ah! It's like cobwebs. I'm getting stuck in them. That could actually be a problem now that I think about it. There is a certain type of spider in this game which I believe once it... Uh, if, if you get caught in its web, it comes over to you and uh, tries to teleport you into a uh, cave, which can be disconnected from the rest of the level. If I had burrowing claws, that would be a problem, because I could just dig my way out. Without that, I would have to... Uh, well... Ugh find other means to get out there. I do have my Jappa uh, slingshot or whatever it's called, which I think I could use in that situation. But... I guess I would also have to deal with the spider. Okay, what's this? Okay, I think we've heard about that. I remember that glass uh, gazebo. There's the stairs down. Putrescence or trees, which I can't get past. What's 
What's in here? Shotgun shells. I guess I'll take that. And a leather cap. I don't want that. Okay, let's also let's... go down the stairs. Just What's this Terry New Bigover. Oh, Todd Giant Amoeba. Uh oh. That's not good. I am stuck and I'm getting attacked. <clears throat> um. <laughs> Can I please? Get out of this spot. I don't want to be stuck here anymore. Okay, good. Whew. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be going down there anymore. That was nasty, and I don't want to deal with that. I'm already pushing my luck, I think, by exploring this floor. All this stupid tar around is... Yeah. Nearly got me killed. Okay, that one's empty. Uh, let me have a look back over here. Okay, yeah, that was all trees. Nothing there. Nothing there, it looks like. Okay, let's leave. Gotten quite a few nice things. Okay. Yep. And uh, we'll head back to Joppa. And we'll see about selling some of the things which we've got. Hang on. Let me just uh, go through it. So, again, I think I've got to hold on to the books. Okay, so do you have anything which I could make use of? Folded carbide arrows. Strange furniture. Weird artifact for 431. Blows for you. I wonder if you could determine what an object is by its value. Um, I might want to buy some more water skins. I don't have any more water skins to hold water, so let's see. We'll get these and uh, let's see about selling some things. What's this rifle? It's rusted.
Pox sprinkle the barrel steel from a hundred salt storms. The stock is spoon carved from fibrous brine stalk in the style of the Isakari Dune tribe. Okay. So it's worth a very little because it's uh rusted. Okay, I think I'll hold on to those mines to disassemble. Uh I want to hold on I might use those sandals because they make you a little faster. We'll sell this, we'll sell that, we'll sell these, we'll sell that. Uh what else? Oh, wow. That Gaslight Chris is uh, worth 42. Hmm. I'll sell this stuff. What's Gaslight mean? I think it had a high, said it had a higher chance of... Uh... Uh, getting through... Uh, armor? Let's see. Can be powered with an energy cell. Since it's PV, uh, penetration is a stat that every weapon has. It is directly opposed by armor and is a form of AV. Each point of AV negates a point of PV. The full details of how PV work are blah blah blah. Every two points of additional PV raises the multiplier applied to the damage your weapon deals by one. Conversely, every two points of AV the target has lowers it by one. When PV and AV are exactly equal, the weapon's damage multiplier will generally range from plus 1 to plus 3. In other words, an AV of 8 is sufficient to reduce most attacks from weaker enemies to no damage at all. Hmm, okay. PV is based on the weapon's own penetration stats and the player's strength modifier. Before we start counting on the penetrations, this page also includes information and accuracies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so forth. A whole lot of information, which I'm not going to read now. Uh, let's see. Gaslight Chris. Since its PV, when powered, doesn't depend on strength, it is a valuable weapon for those with low strength, much like its long blade counterpart, the Gaslight Flisser. When powered, its PV becomes 9, and its base and its damage becomes 1d6. Hmm. Okay. So it's, um... Yeah, it's basically, it's just a, uh... Dagger which goes through armor really effectively. Uh, yeah. Hmm. So how much does, like... Let's see, how much armor does a boar have? Four. Yeah, okay. So I'd be able to get through that. Hmm. Yeah, I might hold on to that. It's a Chris, so it's a short sword, but... Hmm. If I could find a longsword version of that, it would require powering, but, uh... It'd be quite useful. Since my character isn't that strong. That would actually make it useful if I'm, uh... Using... Short blades, because then it would, uh... Remain useful for longer. Hmm. Okay, so that's fine. We'll sell this. Yep. Fine. There we go. Thank you. Let's go put our books into the chest here. And I'll put... Hmm. Oh, hang on. Uh... Uh, let's put... 18 in there. 
And I've got a lot of iron wafer sheets because I've been walking around picking them all up. So uh, let's put like a hundred of those in there. Got a lot of worm jerky too. Uh, we'll put like ten in there. Hmm. Oh, thank you very much for the follow, Gwilingu. Let's see. Let's put that wire in there as well. And okay, put all that in there. Still got quite a bit of weight, but uh, that will go down. Okay, so I want to disassemble this. Hey, I now know how to make normality gas grenades. Oh, okay, so it is how I thought it was. You turn grenades into mines. Because uh, that didn't give me how to make a mine. It gave me how to make a grenade, so. Yay, we'll disassemble this one as well. Um, we'll disassemble this stun rod. I kind of want to repair this. Let's see. Scrap metal. Yeah, sure. There we go. Um, pump shotgun. Hmm. What do I need? Slugs for this, I think. No, I need, uh, shells. Shotgun shells for this, so I need slugs for the rifle. I'm going to disassemble that. Can I disassemble bullets? No. What's it say about them? A handful of pellets are encased in a thick wax paper and plastic shell. Uh... Okay, so how heavy is this Chris 5? Uh, what? Gaslight Chris weapon class cudgel. Oh, is that if it doesn't have a cell in it? It counts as a cudgel? I would have thought a Chris would be uh, a short sword, even if it's not powered. I mean, it's just really dull. Let's see, if I put that in there. No, I, I, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to drink the juice from the cell. <sighs> I hope that doesn't make me sick. Oops, sorry. Actually, accidentally drank all the battery acid. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be having any negatives penalties, so I guess we're fine. That's just, that's just annoying. What do I need to put into them? Acid or something, I think. Ugh. Tasty, tasty battery acid. Yeah. Tastes like burning. Recharge. Three A bits. I have 19. Yeah, sure. Okay, I guess I could just recharge it by shoving bits into it. Scrap power systems. Yeah, okay. However, that works. Oh, hang on. I think I'm thinking of like thermoelectric cells. Or there's cells which you can get... Hmm. Actually, hold on. I know thermoelectric cells, you can put lava in them. 
to uh, recharge them. Uh, but chem cells. Yeah, it just says a. It's just the most, it's the most common type of energy cell. It doesn't say anything about recharging it. Uh, let's see. Solar cells, thermoelectric cells. Right, okay. So thermoelectric cells, they hold 8 drams, they have 40,000 charge, you put lava in them. There's lead acid cells. Okay. Which you put acid in? Yes. Okay. Combustion cells, which you put oil in. And biodynamic cells, which you put blood in. <laughs> Okay, so. No, you can put fidget cells onto your arms, not necessarily in your hands, to charge them up. So you don't have to ha ho be holding it to uh, charge it up. Okay. Right, okay, you just use scrap to recharge chem cells. Fine. Um, so what I wanted to do before I drank all the battery acid was, uh, look at this. Right, so when it's charged, it counts as a short blade. Weapon class short blades causes bleeding on a critical hit. Okay, uh, let's equip that. Uh, hold on. No, remove from there. Remove. Equip that there. Do I actually have... Did I end up purchasing uh, axes? I think I did. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, okay. That's fine. So I could get short blades again. Which would help. <coughs> Pardon me. Because I am going... I am pretty much just making a really fast character who can... Theoretically go faster by slowing time down around him. So... I guess short blades would be good for that. Oop, uh, see, it's because the Chris went unpowered has no blade, so it's a cudgel. Ah, that would explain it. Because I was thinking that it was, like, generating a field around an existing blade. But if the uh, cell's actually helping it create a blade, well then, yeah. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, thanks. And it's just beating... <laughs> I'm just beating people over there with the hilt of the weapon. <laughs> uh, um, I do have enough points for that. And apparently you can get long blade versions of these as well. Hmm. Do I need like... Okay, okay, so... You can get bonuses to attacking with your offhand weapon. Uh, but then there's a separate dual wield skill which you can get, which allows you to increase the chance of attacking with offhand weapons. Then your chance to strike with an offhand weapon increases to 55%. Flurry's cooldown is reduced by 10. You make an attack with every hand, including extra hands granted by mutation or technology. Offhand strikes. Your chance to strike with an offhand weapon increases to 35%. And two weapon fighting. Your chance to strike with an offhand weapon increases 75%. Okay, so you get this, then you... Well, you get that, and then you get that, and then you get that. Okay. <clears throat> um, I guess we'll make a really stabby character. Uh, how much experience do I have? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Sure. Why not? Do I have anything else, actually? 
two plus two bonus to my DV. I would like something which would help me get out of being stuck a bit better, but hmm. I don't think there's anything I can take. There might be some mutations which you can get to uh, less than the chance, so yes, we will get short blade. There we go. So we can stab things with our uh, blade a bit better. We should have enough parts to keep our chem cells charged through deconstructing things. Hmm. Let's cook with some things. Boar jerky. Uh, how about some honey? And a uh, vine wafer sheaf. What do we get? Plus three to save saves versus disease. Whenever you drop below 20% HP, you don't thirst for the next 12 hours. Yay. Do you have anything, Argyle? Argive. Let's trade. You have item mod fitted with a beam splitter. Adds item modification fitted with a beam splitter. This weapon has a three-way spread with each shot at minus one penetration. Okay. High capacity. Entry, increased charge capacity. Oh, uh, that's I think a modification for uh, cells. So you can have like well, a larger charge in the cell. Do I really need to <laughs> explain that more? Oh. Does the UI not uh, list my HP total? Uh, it would. I have a penalty uh, called Nerve Poppy, which makes it just give me a general uh, indication of how much health I have. Let's see. Yeah, over here. Nerf Poppy. I only know the general state of my health and not the precise number of hit points. I think you can maybe overcome that by uh, having some uh, technological parts, but I wouldn't know for sure. What's this? Arc Winder. Spiral crank closes a chrome encased circuit and ejects charge through two contact tips. Smoke twirls through the yellow glow. It's an arc welder? I guess. Ninefold boots. Calligraphs are incised in uneven rows and columns that meander across the quarter and backstay of the boot. Their character mass appears to orbit a central statement. The path is contracted. The rest of the script is etched in a variety of signs and styles that offer competing and composing interpretations of the cryptic proclamation. I'm guessing these allow you to travel a lot faster. The life, the, uh, Oh, I think there's something for Discord like this. Like 12 League Boots or something? <laughs> Which allowed a wizard who created them to walk 12 Leagues in a single step. Uh, he didn't he didn't uh, count in for the fact, however, that his, uh, <laughs> his legs and pelvis weren't really made to be like 12 Leagues apart from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, he had to take... He, he had uh, quite the painful recovery from it or something like that. I forget which one... Which Discord book that was from. Uh, you don't have anything else, do you? High capacity might be something useful to know. I don't have a good chem cell to put it... I don't have a good cell to put it on, though. But having it would be good for the future. Beam splitter. That sounds like it's only useful for, like, a laser weapon. I don't think you could split... <laughs> Split the beam of a uh, physical rifle. I mean, I don't know what this arc wind is used for, unless it's just straight up a weapon. Maybe you could use it to, like, cut through walls or something. And this is far too expensive. What do I have which I can 
use for purchasing that. Uh, I have a lot of... Let's see. Would you be interested in my books, good sir? I mean, that is why I, uh, got them all. Okay, let's trade. Let's see, if I want this high-capacity data disk, I will give you these books. That weird artifact up there is worth 2,571. Hmm. Got failed energy relays. I'd want uh, other ones, I think. Yes, I want the uh, numbered versions of these because they're more valuable than the like A, B, C, D ones. I'd want like one, two, three, four parts. Um. Do I have a book which is worth a little bit less? Uh, 35 and that. Yeah, that's closer. Yeah, sure. There we go. Thank you very much. And let's use our data disk. We get high capacity. Nice. So, now, can I make it high capacity? That takes two of those uh, basic power systems to upgrade it. Uh, I also have metered, which allows me to see the exact capacity in it, but that's not too important. We'll mod this chem cell to be high capacity. There we go. Okay. Um, I mean, how much does it cost me to put metered? Oh, I don't even have two flawless crystal. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, how much does it take to build things? Gas grenades. A, B, and 1. Well, I can actually make those. Spring turret grenade mark 2, I can't make. I'm lacking flawless crystals and pristine electronics. Stun rods, I could make one of those. Or a few of those. Ten of them. Same with these. Actually, hang on. Yes, ten of them and ten of those. I don't really want to make a whole bunch of stun rods though, but... Let's see. Uh... Okay, let's put the rifle there. I have no ammo for the rifle. Yeah, here we go. Lead slugs. Get those. There we go. We'll load the rifle. And if I'm using that... Uh, oh, I've already... I already actually deconstructed my shotgun. So that's fine. Okay, let's put... 
some of the water in here. Uh, some of that in there. We'll take these two empty water skins. And... Yeah. Then we'll do that. Take these... And I'll go sell these. Because I don't want these uh, electrified weapons. Okay, so sell those. Yep, give me 10 water for that. Okay, right. So I think because I've got other things to sell, we might go up to the six day stilt. That's going to be all the way north there. In the northwest. Oh, we're lost. Okay. Hello, wild dogs. Oh, there's some asphalt. Quite a lot of it. Ari Desert Canyon. Okay, let's uh make a camp actually, and we'll whip up a meal. There we go. Gather some fixings, a chameleon horror, a drab of mercury shavings from a tortoise shell, a burnt capacitor, and a sublime salt hopper wing. Yum, yum, yum. Hey, good, we've regained our bearings. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a look. You're a hatter. What have you got? Electric snail shell. Minus one to hit, plus 200 reputation with mollusks. The hollowed out Xanthus shell of the electric snail's armor that armors the head while only minorly, minorly impairing vision. The headlamp, square cap, ubidostrum injector, and two witch wood reefs. Uh, let's see. You are the priest of that temple to Reshef. Do you have anything to trade? Some weird artifacts, humble pie, yuckweak stem, salve injector, bile, one dram of convalescence, and a water skin with 13 drams of honey. I might be interested in those weird artifacts. Yeah, let's uh, get them. That's why I came here, really, to purchase weird artifacts. Uh, there we go. Thank you very much. So what are these? I mean, the more I examine, um, the more I'll be able to tell other things. Uh, it's a spray bottle. And... They were both spray bottles. Okay. I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh, well. Maybe I should have bought one and then <laughs> examined it and then... Uh. Okay. Oh no, that's just a that's just a pig farm. We don't want to let the pigs out. Another shop here, is it, or is it a tavern? Build your own artifacts. Tell me more. Disturb the trash if you must, but do not touch any of my papers. Ooh. Fitted with suspensers. When powered, this item is weightless. Ooh, interesting. Phase conjugate. This explosive this explosive shifts phase immediately before detonating. Sharp. Sharp plus one penetration. Okay. Eater's nectar. 
Hmm. Hypertractor. A rifled prism refracts and refocuses light to tunnel things towards its wielder. Sophists call it a hear ray. I. Okay, so I guess it's a tractor beam or something. It just like pulls something towards you. Interesting. Nice to have if I get a fungal infection, you guess. Oh, with the uh, spray bottles? Huh. Yeah, I guess so. I haven't had to deal with that yet. I haven't gone near any fungal forests or any enemies which have had uh, infections, so. What's this? A linear cannon. Baroque and kite like volumes of metal are arranged on an axis as a lathe to shave dimensionality off their inner spaces. A giant stock and grip of painted fullerite support their tremendous weight. Right. I guess it's like a rail gun or something. Programmable, programmable recoiler. Oh, that's like a uh, Japa recoiler. Yeah, okay. So we can get one to like teleport to wherever we want to go if I got that. That's kind of expensive though. 714. Stasis grenade. Fitted with suspenders sounds nice, but I don't really have anything which is that heavy. Sharp. Eh. Plus one seems a little weak, honestly. I mean, it would be good to add to something just to like... I think... Because I think you can stack multiples of the... Uh, attributes on top of each other on items. I don't know if there's a uh, cap. Phase conjugate. I don't know what... I don't really know what it means by that. Oh, hello. Slate frock and sandals. Arcanaut, what have you got? Lead slugs, fine wafer, torch, chrome revolver, love injector, copper nugget, water skin, 31 drams of wine. Labor a security guard. Mm. And a small turquoise tube. Eh. Uh. Soft buzzing. No, you don't have anything of interest. Okay. What about over here? Oh, it's just another... Uh, tavern. We'd all be dead without bees, you know. Yeah, you got portable beehives. Bees crawl over the back mountain slatted rack. A few more dart around nearby. Plus 200 reputation with flowers. <laughs> you could just have bees on your back. I guess it automatically generates uh, honey for you. You've been walking through the fractals. <laughs> Is that why you have blood all over you? Yes, because you're silly. What's this place? Oh. Stylish hats. That's not owned by me. There's no one in here, though. Wood arrows. That's another tavern. Anything in here? Nope. Don't want to spoil any more about the fungi you've said too much already. I have watched a playthrough of this before, so I kind of know a fair bit of what's going on, but uh, this is the second round I've had of actually playing it myself. Uh, 
Um, so I know of the various, uh, like, fungal infections you can get, but I haven't had to deal with it, and the specifics on, like, having to deal with it... I'm not too sure of, so... <laughs> My shoddy memory has meant that I've forgotten a fair bit, but... Let's see. What have you got? Robes. Steel plate mail. Bronze ingots. Hmm. I don't really want any of that. You people really need to deal with these fractals. They're just fractuses. They're just getting everywhere. You got a weird artifact. Hmm. Do I want to purchase that? Let me have a look and see if anyone else has got something. Oop. I get inspiration to cook a mouth-watering meal. Is that Gershling? Aren't they supposed to be like some kind of horrible apocalyptic creature why have you got one like as a pet spring loaded this item grants bonus move speed oh <laughs> it's just adding like springs to the soles of your boots or something okay you have a number of things but i can't actually afford any of it what's this shop chrome guts okay there's a salt hopper what? Praise our Argent Fathers, wisest of all things. Let's trade. Oh, you've got... You've got the, uh... The book. Kipper. Carve a bit of salt, friend, or a load of salt. Ooh, you've got a lot of food. The Turf of Steaming, what's this? Crisp pages of goat, goat skin vellum are bound into a codex. Boar jerky, congealed skulk, crushed grave moss, dried lar petals, fermented yonder cane, fire ant gaster paste, frog jerky, maize beard gland paste, pickled mushrooms, pickles, star apple jam, vine wafer sheaf, voider gland paste, cider slime, salt cider slime. You have a bunch of uh, ingredients you could cook with. Hmm. I think I could get a lot of those out in the wilderness. I don't really need to pay for them. I think yonder cane might allow you to like teleport. You got some tiny trinkets. Hello, welcome, welcome. You're new to the game and you die all the time. I've died once so far. Uh. <laughs> I have to learn to take things slowly, and if I get attacked, not to panic and start trying to, like, dodge out of the way, because it doesn't work like that. <laughs> if you suddenly take damage, you just sort of have to take your hands off the keyboard and go, right, what's going on? What's happened? Where did it come from? How am I going to deal with it? You have the time to think. It's very difficult for, my, for me to t tell myself that. We'll see ya. Uh, oh, adds self-poisoning effects to cooked meals. Brown sludge, yum yum. Let's see. At twilight in the shadows of the spindle, the people of Omon Porch saw an image on the horizon that looked like a ghost bathed in cerulean. It was for Chef, and after he came and left Omon Porch, the people built a monument to him, and thenceforth, thenceforth called him Ghost in Cerulean. Okay. You got a glass bottle with seven drowns of blood there. Don't want to ask questions about that. You've got some acid. Hmm. What about your froggy here? Ice frog and high guard has nothing to, nothing to sell. What about this uh, baboon here? Small stones. Yeah, okay. What about you? Prickly boons and yuck wheat for trade. You're an apothecary. Spray bottles. 
bandages, which would bark. Some of that could be useful, actually. Yeah, I might buy five which would bark. Um, and I'll use I'll actually buy two of this. I think I can get a bunch of it just by walking around forests. Or at least occasional parts, because the trees are kind of uncommon. And they don't grow back. If I harvest from them, apparently they don't... Uh... It doesn't grow back. So... Okay, let's go back to that other trader. Weird artifact. Do I want to purchase this? Ninety-nine. Then I would have to sell eight of my nuggets. And a little bit of water. Sure. Yep. So, what was this? Nulling Bark Harbor. Fidgets, fidget cell. Which is drained. Okay, so it's... Well, the Bark is kind of useless. Overall, that's kind of useless. When powered, this armor astrally burdens its wearer. Compute power on the local lattice increases the effectiveness of its effect. Right. Okay. So it nullifies the effects of psychic abilities when you wear it and it's powered. Which is kind of useless because I use psychic abilities. At least a little bit. Can I sell this back to you? <laughs> it's not as useful as I thought it would be. Um, I mean, does nothing like... Hold on, let me check the wiki. Does nulling lower the effectiveness of psychic attacks hitting me? On armor, astrally tethers the wearer. On weapons, causes reality stabilization when hit. Let's see. Astrally tethered. It's a status effect that prevents creatures affecting, affected by it from being affected by any mutation affected abilities that modifies the astral plane. This is anything which manipulate, manipulates space-time, such as teleportation and precognition. Uh... Let's see. Astral manipulation is one major category of mutation and abilities that manipulates the space, dimension, and time. Various characters, monsters, items, and hazards may be categorized as such. It directly relates to being affected by the normality gas and ontological anchor, both of which are objects that are capable of neutralizing the effect of astral manipulation by affecting the user and target with astrally burdened and astrally tethered status effect. I don't... I'm... Hmm. I'm not actually getting that that would affect my, uh... My time dilation ability. I would think it would, but... Because that would be affecting... Hmm. Let's see. Uh... Hmm. Yeah, well, okay. Uh, deactivate. We'll take the cell out of it. Yeah, that's... That's not really that useful to me. So I'll take the cell out. 
And... I can't deconstruct the armor. Yep. And it's really... Uh, Astrally means really burdens. Means it prevents me from phasing, perhaps. Hmm. Maybe. I don't have any phasing abilities, so... I mean, I guess if it would stop other creatures from teleporting me, that would be useful. This is the only thing which I have which I think would be affected by that. I thought it would affect all psychic abilities, but it's not. It's just like... As I said, things which mess with, mess with space-time. Uh, can I sell this back to you? For 1.37? Ay. The fidget sell when it was worth more than that. Ugh. I kind of hate games which do that, but it's understandable. Otherwise, you'd just be able to purchase things and then, you know, sell them back. There we go. I got one of my uh, copper ingots back. Okay, we need to go and uh, find some more books or something. Also, hello. So many folk. The petrified... Oh, hang on. Petrified Kraken? Uh... Okay, we have a drink. Let's go in here. What are all these little thingies on the floor? Worm of the Earth. A massive tube of muscle tipped in a beak built for the grinding stone. Idly undulating. <laughs> Glory to Shekinah. Let's trade. Oh. <laughs> Even the worms have been converted. Select an artifact to offer. Uh, oh, I can increase my reputation by throwing things in the hole. Nah. Hey -o. As you roam the caves of Kud, burdened by guilt and complexity. Hello. Let's trade? What have you got? Shotgun shells. And a weird artifact. Yeah. There's that, uh... Hologram of... Shekina. Okay, there is actually a uh, library over here, isn't there? Oh, what's this? It is the same temperature as the... Something of loss of motion. It is the same temperature as the rate of loss of motion. What? Hmm. Hello. Uh, I don't actually have my books, I traded them away because they were quite valuable. Where's the library? What use is the library? I will donate a book. I have no books to give. Yeah. Never drink. I mean, I... Honestly, I'd prefer to sell them than donate them. Items are useful. Okay, let's go to the world map. Fidget cells charge as you move around. Uh, yes, they do. If I put one, let's see, as I learned, if I put one on my arm, I've got this neck ring on my arm. What's this do? 400 reputation with baboons. Right, that's why I'm wearing that. I took my boots off. Put the boots back on. I could put it in my hand or on my arm. And uh, while it's there, while I'm moving around, it will charge it slightly. So, no, I want to, uh, yes. Oh, there's a campfire. Uh, yeah, we'll just make a meal. Nom nom nom. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm lost. Where am I? I'm down the bottom. Okay. There's a bunch of people over there. Another Gershling. What the heck are you? 
wet ghost perch and pariah to its people. Swimming. In the desert? What? I mean, okay, fine. I, I guess a, uh, fish can make a pilgrimage across the desert. O Odshem. Mephikina. Mechanist. Mechanic. Mechanimist. Pilgrim heretic. Hmm. Ghostling and prior to its people. Trash monk. Trash monk. Snap your feeder. Feral la. There's a plant going for a walk here as well. A two headed boar. And a naphtali. And an eyeless crab. Swimming in the salt. <laughs> oh, I can get a lot of experience by donating books. Okay. Hey, do you want some help? Says it me unblinkingly. It has nothing to trade. Do you want me to pick you up and take you there? What about the plant? No? Okay. No, never mind. Well, they're all friendly. Do, 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 do. When I was walking through the desert last time, I came across stairs down. Yeah, here we go. There was bad things when I went downstairs. Let's have a look. Chances are going to get, like, burnt by a dawn glider or something. Or 10,000 slug snouts. Or worse, turrets. Cats. A ray cat. It's docile. Ah, a bear. <coughs> Bye, bear. What's this? Hey, honey. A lot of honey. Uh, I'll, I'll take this. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll keep taking it. I'll take all of the honey. There's some more. Yoink. Okay, well, that's nice. We need a booth down here. <laughs> I was thinking, I was just thinking how... What a uh, coincidence that that bear was nearby. Maybe it wasn't a coincidence. Maybe we just raided its honey stash. Uh, at Starfarer's Key, Rashef consulted with mysterious strangers and learned the secret of the gyre. By cause of the misdeeds of the Elder Sards and Sultans, star beings had levied a curse on Khan. Rashef vowed to make right for this wrong and redeemed our doomed world. Okay. Is that fresh water? No, it's salty water. Tarnished chrome. I'm suspicious that there's no enemies down here. It's a young ivory. Get out of here, you. What's in this? A dram of cider. Sure. Uh, pour. Nearby container. There we go. Oh! Speaking of fresh water... There's actually quite a lot of it here. Uh, pour. Into my canteen. I mean, these fish are, like, swimming around in it, but, uh, hey. There we go. I wish I had more water skins. I'm, uh, completely full up. I 
I could have bought some back at the uh, six day silt. I am carrying too much. My water is too heavy. I've got too much riches. Um. Hmm. I don't really have anything I could drop. Let's drop this bow. Drop. And these arrows. There we go. Okay. Can I mark this on the map? Ooh. Illuminated. This book is adorned with decorative marginalia and illustrations. It's worth 30% more. Nice. Well, we'll take that. And we'll take this. Ah! Hello! Rifle turret. Bad times. Yes. Uh. Whoop! Ooh. Okay. Nope. I'm not dealing with you. I'm I'm getting out of here. <laughs> What's down here? That's a big open cavern. Five grams of wine in a clay pitcher. A bear. There's a statue there. Something chirps in the southeast. Oh, great. Yeah, there's another turret down there. I'm carrying too much. Too much raw bear meat. I don't need more. Drop that. Okay. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. What am I doing? Don't go down there. If there's another turret, I don't have the means to deal with that and I'm still lost so let's go back this way ow and I just charged through the practices oh <laughs> Apparently, I was in the silt. I was in the uh, silt trade, gr six day silt trade grounds, but I was still lost. I guess because I hadn't been there yet. Uh. Drowsing urchin. Let's trade. Oh, you don't have anything. Okay. Well, let's go see about uh, trading these books in for some experience. Hello. I do actually have some books. I have this one. It's worth 134 XP. This one's actually 153. Find some insightful commentary on he thinks prudent, the some say it. And you can have this one as well. Thank you. Okay. That was a nice bit of XP. Wasn't enough to give me a level, but hey. Okay, now we know where we are. Let's continue going east. And we'll head back down to Jappa. Now I'm lost again. I do have a compass. On my uh, on my arm to theoretically help me stop getting lost. But uh it seems to work when it wants to it just lowers it by a percentage. Ooh, he has a water skin. 22 drowns of fresh water. Uh... What? I hit something down there. Oh. <laughs> okay, there was a, uh... An amoeba right there. 
And it bled out as soon as it got to me. Yay. What's this thing? Moldering corpse. Here lies a humanoid who'd have never guessed their torso would shelter dust from the gills of tiny mushrooms, but should have. That doesn't sound like something I want to deal with. As we were talking before, mushrooms in this game are, uh... They're, they're bad news. Or fungus in general. What's that? A lar plant? Yeah, lar bloom. Can't. It's not red, so I can't harvest anything from it. It's a rubbish. Nothing there. <laughs> who puts... Who puts a damn rifle turret out in the middle of a field? <laughs> and then again, reflexively, I... Uh, moved away from it. Um. Right. How do I want to deal with this? Luckily, it's behind a tree. <laughs> well, the feral dog's dealt a little bit of damage to it. Um, let's see. How much did it deal? Oh, it doesn't tell me how much it dealt to the feral dogs. Just that it shot them and they died. Just gotta rest here for a moment. Um. Okay, I think I can deal with this. Ow! I guess it can see me from there? <laughs> I poke- I poke slightly around the corner and just blam! Pain! Okay, time dilation. There we go. And we go up a level. And I guess I'm lead slugs. Yay. Any other, like, rifle turrets around here, please? Actually, no, please, no more rifle turrets. I've discovered Ring Karkashan. What's that thing? Panther's cloak. Hmm. And he slugs out. Lovely. Oh, what are you? Tumbling pod. Uh, right. Wait, what was that over there? Oh, you're a, uh, like a goatman. Goat folk thrall. Oh, you've got a carbide dagger. Spiked steel gauntlets. I might want that carbide dagger. A braid of roasted frog skin stretches taut over his swollen pectorals and fastens a satchel to his hip. His hooves are stained with naphtali blood. Spittle flies from his bleating mouth into a tuft of hair beneath his chin. I remember some of these being nasty because I think they've got a variant which throws explosive seeds at you.
and they might be able to headbutt you to stun you. Nope. Get away from me, honey skunk. I'll just shoot you. There we go. I'll take your carbide dagger. Hello, who are you? Zealot of the Six Day Still. What are you doing over here? Oh, I'm no longer lost. Well, thank you. I guess you're preaching to the uh, animals around here. And the bears. Okay, let's, uh, let's leave this place. There we go. Okay, and we're back. Uh, let's, uh... Preserve stuff. And choose ingredients. Let's see. I will cook with... I think some cider, some honey, and... Some bear jerky. You get... In you, you let inspiration guide you towards a mouth-watering dish. Let's see. Plus 10 to 15% max, max, max HP. 4 to 5 quickness. And I only get ill for 1 tenth the usual length of, usual length of time. Spice meat honey loaf. Yay. Hello. Do you have anything? Let's trade. Jacked. When equipped by a robot cyborg or mutant with the ability to generate electricity or access to grid power, this item can draw power. Ah. That's actually right up my alley. 142. And scoped. This weapon has increased accuracy. So I could apply jacked to things. And then I'd be able to power it myself through my uh, electrical discharge ability. Hmm. I could apply that onto that uh, Chris I have. Let's see. What have I got? Uh, Ten? Nine. Eight. And I will cover the cost with... Let's actually do... Seven, and I'll cover the cost with water. Yes. There we go. Excellent. So we'll learn this. And now... Hey cat. Meow. Let's see. Uh, put these spray bottles in here for the moment, I think. I'll put these shotgun shells in there since they're not useful to me. Um, I guess we'll put those in there as well. Some of this boar jerky. Uh... Seven. Carbide dagger. Hmm. I'll put some of this honey in here, since I don't need to carry all that around with me. Um. And this water skin with water in it. 
And I'll put this water into that canteen there. Yeah. Okay. So I'll pour you into my canteen. There we go. I am running a little low on water. I mean, in my base inventory. If I could go back... Let's see, that area was in the desert. For the rest of that fresh water. That was like, maybe about 50, 60 more drams of water. Hmm. Anyway. Uh, no, I want to... No. Okay, so let's see. What's this jacked thing take? Uh... Ah, it takes two pristine electronics. And I don't have that. Okay. At least for the gas like Chris. Uh, normally it will take one four. I can make the Joppa recoiler jacked, so I don't need a chem cell in it. I can just power it myself. Hmm. I really need to find, like, better electronics to, uh, disassemble for parts. Uh... Okay. How's my uh, fidget cell? Ah, oh, it's full. Okay, we'll just put that into my inventory. Um, and I guess I'll put the carbide dagger in there? I don't know whether dual wielding, if you don't have the skills, lowers, like, your overall chance to hit or not. That's why I haven't had something like that in my other hand, because... Yeah, I don't know. In D and D, if you don't have the dual wheels like trait or uh, fate, you don't want to dual wheel because it it lowers your chance to hit. I think with both of your weapons, not just with your offhand weapon. Might be misremembering it, and that might be from uh, Neverwinter Nights. So that's like third edition, which has uh, been irrelevant for quite a while now. And it couldn't even do it at Baldur's Gate, I don't think, without the appropriate skill. Um, but, yeah. Oh. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Frick let's see. Like a dual wield means that secondary weapon doesn't land hits except rarely. Okay, okay, so that if that's all it means, then I may as well dual wield. For the off chance of getting an extra hit. Um, then I don't really see why I... Uh, wouldn't want to do so. As I said, I just wasn't sure if it was going to, like, lower my overall accuracy or not. But if that's not the case, then, well, that's cool. Thank you very much. Let's see. What am I wearing on my face? The sun veil. Heat resistance. Okay. Oh! Stained with slime. Yeah, I'll clean it. I need better clothing and equipment. I mean, it's getting me some dodge, but it doesn't have any armor on it. Nope. I might want to use something else in my other hand, like a shield, torch, or gun. That's mostly an opportunity cost. Uh, okay. Hmm. Well, I don't really need a torch because I've got night vision can I wield a rifle in my offhand I mean it goes into like the missile weapon slot doesn't it or does that mean look like I mean it's a two-handed weapon so but I guess like it takes a turn to get it off my back or something I haven't had a shield hmm a shield could be useful I mean, I have got night vision. I don't think night vision offsets it being dark completely. So having a torch would be useful. 
underground, but, uh... Hmm. Last character, I had a glowstone, which I was walking around holding. You usually run with the shield yourself. Hmm. I haven't taken the shield because I lower my DV. But... Let's have a look. Someone have a shield which I can purchase. Also welcome. Let's see. You have... Uh, a wooden buckler. Yeah, that sounds good. Shields only grant the AV when you successfully block an attack. Uh, okay. I don't have skill in shields. Hmm. I'm kind of just zapping things in melee and uh, using my time dilation ability to uh, slow enemies down so I can either hit them before they hit me or zap them or run away from them so and also height and quickness so I'm really fast or faster at reacting to things uh, let's actually have a look at skill points. What have I got which I could get? Spry. And I got short blades, yes. When you wield a short blade in your offhand, you make uh, offhand attacks twice as often. This bonus applies to organic hands, natural or mutated, but not robotic hands. I guess I could take that to uh, make offhand attacks occur twice as often. It doesn't say it needs something like ambidextrous first. Uh, here we go, dual wield. That just increases the uh, chance to attack. Though I guess if it doubles it and my chance to attack is really low, it's still going to be low. It's just like from 2% to 4%. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Can I see my... Um Offhand attack thingy somewhere. Hmm. No, <laughs> that's not my dagger. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my uh, chem cell in my ghost-like Chris is already used. Gonna have to keep an eye out for that. Okay, what's this say? Oh, to graveyard and shrine. Okay. Um, I can't trade with you, can I? Oh, I can actually. What have you got? Which would bark. Metal folding chair. And water skin with honey in it. Hmm. What about you? Small trinket. Okay. You're sleeping. Okay. Oh, I think the unskilled offhand attack rate is 15%. Hmm. Okay. I think I'm just going to have a look at this. Let's see. Uh... I need to perform water rituals with people. Well, I haven't been doing that. I just see it that that you can learn skills by doing so. Uh, the base chance to attack with your offhand weapon with no dual wield skills is 15%. Okay, so yes, thank you very much. So if I learn the skill, it will put it up to... Uh, 30%, I guess. Could you teach me anything? 
Now. What about you? Yeah, I'll do a water ritual with you. Short. Sure. Now oh, he actually has things he can teach me. Let's see. I have a secret to share with you. 50 reputation. Share a secret with me. Would you share the favorite dish of your people? Learn to cook apple mats. Minus 50 reputation. Hmm. Uh. Sure. And I will share a secret with you, I guess. Uh. The location of a snap jaw. Uh, fortress. There you go. Okay. My thanks. Let's see. So what's that recipe I learned? Uh, can I just have a look at, like, known recipes? Options. Controls. Uh, maybe just by using this. Here we go, cook for a recipe. Now, okay. It's basically one something which I could have made anyway. I thought maybe because he was teaching me it would have a different, uh, it would have different stats, but. Nope. Okay. Oh yes, and you said, thank you very much. I think before we go out on a uh, bit more adventure, I'm going to take a brief break. So I will pause the recording here and I will go make myself a cup of tea and we'll be back in a moment. So stay tuned for more Kesa Cud. Oh. Okay, we're back. <coughs> right. Let's see. So... Where could we go next? Um, I still have Grit Gate, but that's where I died last time. I might want some better gear before I go there. Let's go to that rusted archway. That place seemed all right the last time I was there. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, centipede. <laughs> Lovely. Four centipedes. Ow. Alright. Downstairs there. There's a lot of those things around there. Yes, that's got to eat through all of the, uh... Wow! I didn't expect that thing to die. The, uh, scrap-clad hermit to die against that prickle plant. I thought they were a fair bit tougher than that. Oh well. Apparently not. No. Oh. Irritable tortoise. Oh. Oh. 
I didn't mean to kill you. Oh, you have a copper nugget. Uh, yoink. I wonder if up and downstairs can be destroyed. Is there going to be any loot around here? <laughs> I'm not making it through that wall. I don't have my digging claws. Damn it. Oh. Can I zap the wall? I can. It didn't do anything. down here. I get inspired, inspired. And there's a whole menagerie of balls. Lovely. One at a time, please. Thank you. How's my uh, weapon going? It's drained. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I'll just I'll just recharge it. Are you hostile? No. Okay. around here nope that discharge is quite nice it is it's been very useful i put several uh points into it because it starts off at like i think 1000 max charge and you charge a uh, 100 per turn but the damage goes up every time I put, every now and then when I put points into it and every level it gets more charge and I um, accrue more charge per turn so I can drink from energy cells and capacitors to charge it up if I want and apparently I can also charge things uh, if they have integrated power systems which is why I bought the jacked 
um, bonus as well. So it's been quite useful. It is in squares just next to me. Like the enemy has to be next to me for me to be able to hit them with it, but it can arc from them to other targets nearby. So it is kind of good with dealing with groups of enemies as, as well. Um, and since I have to be right next to an enemy, that's why I have time dilation to hopefully like slow down the enemy so that I'm able to get it off before they hit me. That's that's my idea at least, whether it's working like that. Hello, welcome, welcome. Um can I one shot enemies with a discharge? Um I've been able to do so to quite a few enemies. Like that there. It takes all the charge. I don't have an option to use like half charge to kill something. That was a lot of overkill for that boar. Um but again, it's like, because it deals, oh, how does it work? It deals, uh, like, yeah, 1d4 damage per 1,000 charge. So I would hit for, like, you know, two 1d4s just after waiting for two turns. And, uh, like, for some of the weaker enemies, they may only have four hit points or eight hit points so I could wait for like three, four turns and then zap them and that would be enough to kill them. I've usually liked waiting until I've got max charge before I use it, but uh, for weaker enemies I can like set, um, zap them in a bit more uh, shorter term or with less charge rather. Yes, G good English. to clear them out. Friendly fire is a bit of an issue. Uh, if there's friendly or neutral targets near to what I'm zapping, I, I can't like aim. I, I can't not hit them because <laughs> it's random. So I tend to like to wait until there's no friendlies nearby before I zap things. Otherwise I might hit them and end up killing them accidentally. Which is not good. Everyone's all busy shooting things. Oh. What happens if I have 900 or 100 and 1,900? Um, I don't think I can at the moment because it goes up by 500 for me every turn now. It did start off going up by 100, uh, but that was when I think I had a max charge of 1,000. So... I had to wait 10 turns before I could zap something anyway, because you can, you need, I need at least a thousand charge before I can use it. So I have to wait two turns before I can zap something. Um. But yeah. Wonder if I can charge electric cells with it or something. I don't know. As I said, I know I can power electrical devices if they've got integrated power systems. But... Yeah, like that didn't kill that two-headed bull there in one hit. Luckily, we're getting strong enough that I'm actually able to deal with them. Without just having to rely on the... Uh... Discharge. Because I feel a as good as the discharge is, it's not going to last me through a lot of the game. What's this? Huh. Strange tubes. It looks like a folding chair. It's actually a grenade launcher. Sure, I'll take that. And the bandages and the steel buckler, I guess. There's some stuff here. What's this? Folded carbide arrow. Concentrated tart beard gland paste. What? Mist damp tissues were ground in a mortar, simmered in brine and congealed. Adds powerful corrosive gas breathing effects to cooked meals. Ooh. I don't think I've seen that before. I've watched a playthrough of this previously. Uh, one done by one Grimoth. 
I do recommend his playthrough of it. He is much more skilled at this game than I am. But that was, uh, it might have been at least three or four years ago now, so maybe two, three years ago. I don't like to think how much time has passed in the last few years, but uh, there have been a few updates ago, so maybe there's been new things added since then. You just worry my set of explosions or something. Involuntary discharge doesn't seem worrying. Uh, yeah. With the, uh, if I get hit by an EMP and fail a willpower save. Um. That I just discharge. <laughs> um, uncontrollably. Yeah, I haven't had to deal with that yet, so. That's, uh, I'm going to learn about how to deal with that when it occurs type of, uh, issue for me at the moment. Uh, was that on Twitch? Watch the playthrough on YouTube by SB. Uh, I believe that was a locally recorded series he did, so that would be on his YouTube channel. I don't think he's done a, uh, series of it on Twitch. Watch a playthrough on YouTube by SB. Um, surreal beliefs, maybe? <laughs> if I have to guess. <laughs> I don't think I've watched them too much. Since I've been interested in checking out this game myself, I haven't really watched too many playthroughs of this. Just sort of enough to, uh, get an idea of what it's like, and to know that, yeah, it's something which I'd like to play. So, look at that, that sounds neat. No, I don't want to- Why can I repair a vine wafer? How am I going to use scrap metal to repair a vine wafer? What? And I'll get this pump shotgun as well. No, my vine wafer is broke. <laughs> I broke my biscuit. Here we go. Ooh. There's the downstairs. There's another giant centipede. There's one of those honey skunks. Something exploded. We'll just uh, move away from this acid. It's uh, sprayed everywhere. Okay, is it cleared? There we go. Nearly. Or not. I wonder what exploded over here. Oh, these two-headed bulls. Get out of here. Oh, what have you got? A silver nugget. Ooh, money. And a water skin. And a sturdy Isakari banner. Uh, I'll take that. Sturdy is better than the one I've got, I think, so I'll equip that. Yeah, my current one is painted, which, that's nice, but it's just got a story on it. But sturdy, I think, means that it won't be broken. Though it can still be destroyed. Or it can't be damaged, cracked, or whatever. No, my burrowing claws. My last character had uh, burrowing claws. It was quite useful for digging through uh, terrain and I guess having short blades in hand. But yeah, frequently like this, as I learned, uh, if there is a 
security door like this often the game spawns it so that you can just go around them anyway um there was a few rooms which i dug my way into without getting a security card and they had like nice items for me to uh disassemble in them but i think overall i didn't get that much stuff to really make it worthwhile so we are not playing with uh burrowing claws uh, let's see cook from recipe oh actually i am inspired um I guess let's use this concentrated tart beard gland paste. <laughs> I want to see what that's like. Uh, cider and... Beetle jerky? Boar, bear jerky, star apple jam. No. Uh, beetle jerky, sure. Ten to fifteen percent max HP. Can use corrosive breath at level ten. If I already have corrosive breath, it's enhanced by ten levels and plus four to five quickness. Hash the seconds. Chopped concentrated tart beard gland paste over fried beetle jerky, smooth smothered cider and yogurt. Where do we get the yogurt from? I gain the ability breathe corrosive gas. I wonder if I could use that to get through walls. How long does that last for, anyway? Hmm, doesn't say. I guess until I stop metabolizing it. Um, I think there was a room over here which I couldn't get into. Yeah, let's see. Uh, A... K... Wow, that is a large cone. Blah. Yeah, okay, that's just going to eat through the wall there. How long does that take to recharge? Wow, basically instant? Okay, well, I got through that wall. Can you find normal digging tools like shovels and cud? I don't know. Um, I think I found a jackhammer one time, which I guess you'd be able to use to get through walls. Um, but I never tried with it because I had my burrowing claws. You know, you can find an item that drills down layers into the earth. Oh, yeah. That's like the uh, spiral ball or something like that, I think. There's pickaxes for wall busting. Okay. That'll be good if I can find one. As I said, the barring claws were neat. But they don't really deal that much damage. So their digging capacity, as I've I figured, it wasn't really worth having that just to dig through walls. So this is kind of useful. You can just breathe acid on walls and burn through them oh it does have a cooldown not too long though i could probably that's probably gonna hurt me if i get near that i'm not resistant to acid lead slug i'll take that hey a fractured micro microchip The pickaxes are a classic roguelike item. I do remember them from NetHack. Um, I have played some other roguelikes, mostly NetHack, uh, before in the past. And Binding of Isaac is kind of like that, but of this type, mostly NetHack, which I've never gotten too far in, but it's a lot of fun. I should do another... Why is everything damaged? I don't want to repair the go the copper nugget. I think the furthest I've gotten in NetHack is... 
Hmm. Maybe a floor or two down from... Uh... Mine Town. Not that far. Yeah, I'll take both of these. I mean, maybe they're all damaged because of these uh, honey skunks around. They're just eating away at everything. Bark Armor Club, don't want any of that. What's this thing? Oh, a copper nugget. Ooh! There's multiple things here. Glow sphere. That and a copper nugget. Two copper, nu copper nuggets. And this is a bent metal sheet. Cracked robotics housing. Small piece of scrap. Okay. There's actually quite a few parts down here. Useful. Boar. This game in Stone Super, your favorite roguelikes, takes some bar tales of Marjel is also really good. I've heard about that one. Um, I don't think I've actually watched a playthrough of it though. I should have a look at ta Tales of Marjail. I remember people talking about it quite a few years ago, but I've never had a look into it. Oh, another rogue like I've played is uh, Cataclysm, Dark Days Ahead. That's fun. Just because of how silly and crazy things get. Um, but again, I never really got too far in it. And I would have played a version quite a few years ago. <laughs> people haven't played that. I can recommend it. It's kind of a uh, whole bunch of apocalypses happened all at once. Zombies, mutants, fungus, aliens, what have you. And uh, you have to deal with it. It's become a lot more survival than it uh, used to be when I first started playing it. But uh, you can make mutant characters and there's so many things you can mess around with in that game. You can also build things in it, I think. And you can like get an armored, you can make your own armored car and drive around in it. I try Cataclysm Bright Nights. No, I haven't. Ugh. I don't know about that one. I've never gotten up to the point of being able to build my own car. I've found cars to drive around in and probably crash them into buildings. Oh, hello. That's a fire snout. Right, uh, let's go upstairs. I am stuck because I am in asphalt. That's not good. What did I do? Wait, where's my time dilation? Oh, there it is, under it. <laughs> That's gonna help matters. Okay. Our temperature raised a lot because there was fire. Uh, I want to deal with that fire snout. Let's see. Do I want to take a... Uh, do I want to take a blaze injector? Is that enough of a threat that I want to consider that? Though I have to move around to avoid combusting. Hmm... Let's see, this asphalt on fire is going to cause issues. Who's enemies? Okay. So you're there. Your health is perfect. The skin about this squat pig's snout is blackened from the heat of her nasal bla blazes. A single plume of smoke curls upward out of her nostrils. 
Also, the stairs are going to be on fire. Wonderful. I'm not going to be able to go back up. Uh, also heard great things about Cogmine, but don't much don't know much about it. Oh, yes! Yes, Cogmine's another one I've been meaning to look at. Uh, it's a game where you play as a robot sent onto like an abandoned facility or something like that with other rogue robots there. And uh, you have to uh, find parts from other robots and attach them to yourself and uh, change yourself to it, it like that which sounds pretty neat sort of yeah, adapting your uh, chassis to meet challenges ow oh leg lead slug is there a slug now too oh for the southwest there's a slug snout too Okay, never mind. We're on fire. This is bad. <laughs> um. Yeah, I'm going to take that, uh, blaze injector. Oh, I died. There was a chain gun turret there. Well, okay. <laughs> no, I should have a second. I thought it was a slug snout. It was a chain gun turret. I just went poke my head down the down the stairs. But I've done things differently. I did get unstuck, so I probably could have gone up the stairs straight away. But I'd already moved off the stairs. So. Well. <laughs> no! Uh I don't think I came across any turrets last time I went down there. Maybe I saw a slug, a uh, fire snout, and then went straight back up the stairs. Uh, well, that ended quickly. I think that's about the same length as the other one. No, oh, and we're going so well too. <coughs> Right, now it's a bunch of quality of life improvements to Cataclysm. Okay, okay. Reminds you of how RimWorld is so much better with quality of life mods. I played RimWorld. I've had a uh, a number of mods with that. Um, let's see. Mostly Warhammer Fantasy and 40th Cave uh, themed mods. Which, they were pretty fun. I get a little frustrated at the game because it's... Uh, it's sort of geared towards you making your way off the planet and the mods don't really change that so it's sort of designed to make you lose rather than just throw challenges at you whatever <clears throat> anyway but no rewards quite a bit of fun i'll have to learn how to play it again if i started doing that uh let's see yeah gaslight crystal's most advanced thing Oh, we're just kind of getting off the, uh, getting off the ground. Okay. Thank you, Critical Hits. Oh. Okay. Out of here, you. No spam. Reborn keeps scaling up unless you dump your wealth down. Yeah. And that's a problem with some of the mods. Uh, I was playing the Warhammer Fantasy one with uh, Beastmen, and uh, they have a thing where it's easier to keep them happy when your wealth is very low because they like roughing it in the forests. However, if you're in the forest, there's a lot of trees you have to cut down to be able to make a settlement or you know make caves for people to live in but all the wood you cut down adds to your wealth <laughs> you have to like burn off huge amounts of wood to uh be able to keep your wealth low or just move to another area but i haven't messed around with like picking up my settlement and moving it somewhere else in that <clears throat> too much that was fun though i was able to have like a bray shaman with a uh, Saigor 
a big giant which throws rocks <laughs> at other enemies. And I could uh, summon fire. I could cast fireballs and at at enemies and buff my own troops and so on. Did I have something else? I think I had Laura Zinch, so I was able to like do fire waves and so on. Anyway, playing as a nomad in real world is fun. I think I've seen a playthrough of someone doing a uh, kind of a nomad start where they started with basically nothing. They had to build themselves up from that. Um, as I said, I like RimWorld a lot, though some of the events are quite frustrating. It's like, oh, there's going to be several months of uh, no sun or of uh, nuclear fallout. You can turn them off. So, but it's just like the game goes, no, nah, you're just going to... We're going to do... Th right. I just remembered the kind of thing which I dislike about RimWorld is that it keeps ramping up the challenge until you lose someone. If you lose someone, then it eases off. And I don't think you can change that. So it's kind of the intent behind there, which I get a little annoyed at. Um, that's just how the base game is. The mods, you know, are just modifications of the game. That's not a fault of the game. I know what the game's like, and the game is a lot of fun base. It's just, uh, you know, it's a little annoying sometimes. The AI storyteller. Yeah, yeah. I usually don't play with Randy Random, but... Oh. Hello, welcome, welcome. I'm lucky with the turret. Yeah. I didn't even see it. I was worried about the fire snouts. Usually run into them behind security doors in small rooms, not in the open like that. Yeah, I went downstairs. Things caught on fire. I was stuck in asphalt. I was like, oh dear. <laughs> There's a fire snout there. I tried to go upstairs. I couldn't because I was stuck. And then like the next move, I was able to get out of it. But by that time, I was thinking about dealing with the fire snout because I was... I was like, okay, I'm down here. I didn't want to spend another turn trying to go upstairs. Um... In case I was stuck again, I'd just get hit again. So, and then I think I saw the shots come through, but I thought they were a slug snout, not a chain gun turret. <laughs> Ugh. They're rough at low level if I have a low AV. Yeah, I had low AV. I was focusing on DV and speed, but that doesn't help. I can't dodge all the bullets. I could recruit a disposable colonist in room to get rid of them. That's a bit gamey, I guess. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> there was one fun settlement I had, which was, uh, as, uh, Adeptus Mechanicus. And, uh, that was neat because I had, like, hollowed out a, um, uh, manufactorum in a mountain. And I had set up power generators to... Generators to power a whole bunch of automated defences. So I had turrets all over the outside. <laughs> um, and the few people who would be who would come to visit, I would uh, keep in prison. Uh, prison and... Uh, ahem. Uh, what's it called? Um, I would... Uh, <laughs> Trying to think of a word which I want to use. I don't know. Liberate them of their brains to use in uh, research mis research machines. Or into servitors, which were quite useful. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't figured out the best way to defend yourself in this game. Might need a bit of AV to be safe, even with a DV build. Yeah. I was going too far into DV. It's because I don't like lowering my DV. I like see the item and it's like plus two AV, minus one DV. And I'm like, ah, I don't really want to wear that because it lowers one of my stats. But I think I should just wear armor. Dodging, I think, is more useful later on when you've got good base AV. 
For the turret? Hmm. I don't really know how other people have dealt with them. EMP grenades, I guess. Which means you have to find one first. Um. Or yeah, just not having them out in the open like that. So, that's just unfortunate. Getting to 6 AV is a good goal. Yeah. I think I had about 4 or something. <sighs> oh hum. Oh well. I was hoping he'd go for a bit longer than that. It was going rather well. Um, we'll have to uh, do this again another time. And uh, start off another character. I'd probably start with the same uh, build as I had. Because that goes quite... That went quite well. Or do I want to try something quite different? Hmm. I'll have to have a think about it. Yeah. Anyway. I think that will be it for uh, Case of Cud. Oh well. I thought it would go on for a bit longer, but uh, we died. So continue with this another time. I'll stop the recording here.